Welcome back to our channel. Today we are covering Comp TIA Pen Test Plus PTO. To find the complete list of questions and answers, please go to the playlist link provided in the description. If you like this content, please like and subscribe to our channel. Today question is A penetration tester has obtained shell access to a Windows host and wants to run a specially crafted binary for letter execution using the VMIC EXE process called create function. Which of the following OS or file system mechanism is most likely to support this objective? Option A alternate data streams. Option B PowerShell modules. Option C, MP4 Stagnography and Option D, PS EXEC. And the correct answer is Option D. Next question is, a penetration tester discovers during a recent test that an employee in the accounting department has been making changes to a payment system and redirecting money into a personal bank account the penetration test was immediately stopped which of the following would be the best recommendation to prevent this type of activity in the future option a enforce mandatory employee vacations option b implement multi-factor authentication option c install video surveillance equipment in the office and option d Encrypt passwords for bank account information. And the correct answer is option B. Next question is, which of the following should a penetration tester do next after identifying that an application being tested has already been compromised with malware? Option A. Analyze the malware to see what it does. Option B. Collect the proper evidence and then remove the malware. Option C. Do a root cause analysis to find out how the malware got in. Option D. Remove the malware immediately. And option E. Stop the assessment and inform the emergency contact. And the correct answer is option D. Next question is, a penetration tester runs the following command on a system. Which of the following is a tester trying to accomplish? Option A, set the SGID on all files in the directory. Option B, find the root directory on the system. Option C, find files with the SQID bit set. And option D, find files that were created during exploitation and move them to dvnull. And the correct answer is option D. Next question is, a penetration tester finds a PHP script by a web application in an unprotected internal source code repository. After reviewing this, the code, the tester identifies the following. Please see the following script. Which of the following tools will help the tester prepare an attack for this scenario? Option A, Hydra and Crunch. Option B, Netcat and CURL. Option C, Bobsuit and DIRB and option D and map and OW ASP ZAP and the correct answer is option A. Which of the following would most likely to include it in the final report of a static 
application security that was written with our team application. Developer as the intended audience. Option A, executive summary of the penetration testing methods used. Option B, bill of materials including supplies, subcontracts and cost incurred during assessment. Option C, quantitative impact assessments given a successful software compromise. And option D, code context for instances of unsafe typecasting operations. And the correct answer is option C. Next question is, a penetration tester is looking for a vulnerability that enables attackers to open doors via a specialized TPC services that is used for a physical access control system. The service exists on more than 100 different hosts. So the tester tester would like to automate the assessment. Identification requires the penetration tester to have a full TCP connection send a hello, payload wait for a response, send a string of characters longer than 16 bytes. Which of the following approaches would best support the objectives? Option A, run and map PN as V script. Option B, imply an open VAS simple scan against the TCP port of the host. Option C, create a script in the lower language and use it with NSE. And option D, perform a credentialized scan with Nessus. And the correct answer is option C. Next question is, a company is concerned that its cloud VM is vulnerable to a cyber attack and proprietary data may be stolen. A penetration tester determines a vulnerability does exist, exploits the vulnerability by adding a fake VM instance to the la as component of the client's VM. Which of the following cloud attacks did the penetration tester most likely implement? Option A, direct to origin. Option B, cross site scripting. Option C, malware injection and option D, credential harvesting. And the correct answer is option A. Thank you.